in Linux, I could manually mount a, uh, a folder or a directory, or I could automatically uh, mount a file. If I want to do it manually, I use the mount command. If I want to automatically, so when the system boots up, it reads the etcfs tab, and then it goes through the list. And if I mount it over there, it will be permanently mounted. The alternative is to use auto mount. Uh, is to use the auto mounter. The auto mounter only mounts a file when it's accessed, only when I need. So if I call the uh, mount point slash Danny, only when I do a ls Danny, only then. Um, that the slash Danny is mounted on the machine. After 60 seconds that the file is not accessed, there's a timeout of 60 seconds, it is U mounted or unmounted. Uh, why have different mount points or different partitions? Well, for one reason, if I fill the slash partition, system becomes completely unstable. The reason for that is there's no place for the system to open new files or to create open areas of memory. If, uh, for example, I have an email server and it's filled, there's no way for the users to send mail since they can't open a socket to communicate with the server. So a uh, regular user has access to their home directory. So for me, it would be a slash user slash home slash Danny. If I fill up the uh, home Danny directory, then I can't use the server, but at least the server is not down for everybody else. The slash temp is open for all users. So um, that should be in a separate partition. If I want to mount, a, do a permanent mount when the, when the system turns on, I add a line to the etcfs tab. Uh, there I could see, if I do a cat of the etcfs tab, I can see all the partitions. And to see the, 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 the order in which they're executed. If I want to permanently add a partition, so I would VI into the ETCFS tab, and I'd add a line at the bottom, let's say. So if I want to uh, have a network uh, connection to um, an FTP server on the internet, for example, so I'd say I'd say 192.168.0.54 slash var slash FTP slash pub. And that is mounted on slash media slash nfs defaults zero three won't go into the parameters so if during the boot process the above server is not available it will try to connect and it'll take two minutes with the machine will just the machine will just wait for two minutes while trying to connect and then it will time out so the better solution is to add that line not to the ETCFS tab, but to the auto mounter. The auto mounter only mounts the file when the file is accessed. So there's no reason for the file to always be mounted. And of course, if the system, there's no need for the system to hang in case uh, the, the, the server is not accessible. The auto mounter defines the timeout. Um, there is a default file called auto.nisc, or it's in the etc auto.nisc, and it's mounted as slash misc. That file, and, and you put all your changes in there. You could change it to anything. You could call it, you could mount it as slash Danny, and the file name would be called etc slash auto dot Danny. That's just the default name to change it.
if I so let's open that file and I'll see there's a, a, a Linux Linux that mounts uh, a certain server um, when I when I run Linux or when I type LS Linux or CD Linux or anything like that only then that uh, file would be mounted why put in the FS tab versus auto mounter? Well, it's ultimately about the same, but putting it into the FS tab is, is a bit easier, but putting it in the auto mounter is more correct since it only mounts the file when it's needed.